All deadly epidemics have an epicenter, a single person who first caught the disease before spreading it to others, or in other words, patient zero. Here we present to you the patient zero victims of the deadliest epidemics in the world. Number 9. Gaetan Dugas The term patient zero originated from Gaetan Dugas, a man who for years was believed to be the man who brought HIV to the US. Dugas was a flight attendant working for Air Canada and was diagnosed with AIDS in the early 80s. The disease was first clinically observed among the gay community in the US in 1981. In 1984, the CDC conducted a study to try to track down its origins in the country. They traced the sexual partners of infected gay and bisexual men in New York and California and came to the conclusion that Gaetan Dugas was the index case responsible for carrying the HIV virus, presumably from Europe. Dugas was referred to as Patient O, the O standing for outside of California. However, it was later read as the number zero, leading to the origin of the term Patient Zero for all index patients who start epidemics of any disease. Gaetan himself died from complications due to AIDS in 1984, but his name lived on as the man who gave the AIDS to the US. Ironically, the original patient zero turned out not to be a real patient zero at all. According to a study published very recently in September 2016, HIV had arrived to New York City as early as 1970 and was linked to existing cases in Haiti and other countries in the Caribbean. Number 8. Typhoid Mary Typhoid fever is a nasty bacterial disease spread by the digestion of food and water contaminated with an infected person's feces or urine. Symptoms include vomiting, diarrhea, and a terrible rash. However, there are those who exhibit no symptoms at all. These people, called carriers, are more of a threat as they could unknowingly and unsuspectingly spread the disease to others. The most famous of typhoid carriers is Mary Mallon. Mary was originally from Ireland and worked as a cook for wealthy families in New York City after immigrating to the US. It was the early 20th century, and typhoid was mainly a problem in poor communities. But thanks to Typhoid Mary, as she would later be known as, rich people got sick with the disease as well. She worked for multiple families throughout the years, and all of them got sick eating her cooking. She managed to avoid detection many times, as when investigators came, she had already moved to work at a different house. Mary was eventually caught in 1907 with the help of a freelance sanitary engineer who was hired by her landlord to search for the source of the outbreak infecting his household. After testing positive for typhoid, she was quarantined on North Brother Island, a tiny island east of Manhattan. After three years, Mary was released on the condition that she'd not work as a cook anymore. She ignored the warning and took a cooking job at a women's hospital, causing another typhoid outbreak. Police caught her, and this time she was permanently incarcerated. She died in 1938, and an autopsy found evidence of live typhoid bacteria in her gallbladder. Number 7. Haitian Cholera Patient Zero the 2010 Haiti earthquake was a disaster of epic proportions, resulting in the death of over 100,000 civilians and billions of dollars in damages to the already poverty-stricken country. The Haitians' terrible misfortune seemed to know no end, as a terrible cholera outbreak immediately followed the earthquake. Almost undoubtedly, researchers claimed the first person to contract the illness was a 28-year-old mentally ill man from the town of Meyer Ballet. The man, who was known as the village's crazy person, often walked stark naked through the town to clean himself at a river which drained sewage waste from a UN encampment nearby that housed Nepali peacekeepers. That encampment is believed to be the source, as Haiti's cholera epidemic is that of a Nepali strain. The mentally ill man developed severe diarrhea in late 2010 and died within a day. The men who dealt with his body also fell ill shortly, and soon the cholera bacteria had spread to the entire town, country, and even neighboring Dominican Republic. The Haitian cholera problem is still on ongoing today, with over 700,000 locals known to have contracted the disease, with the death toll reaching 9,000. Number 6. Mabelo Lakela 
Ebola is one of the worst infectious diseases of this century. For the past few years, the disease has devastated West Africa and caused waves of panic across the world, with several cases occurring outside the African continent. Ebola still has no cure or vaccine, and thousands of infected individuals have died suffering massive internal hemorrhage. The disease is named after the Ebola River, which flows near a small village named Yambuku in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In 1976, a teacher there by the name of Mabalo Lakela got extremely sick after returning from a trip outside the village. He was initially treated as a case of malaria, but got continuously worse and bled profusely from all orifices, including his eyes, mouth, and nose. He died in less than two weeks. Unfortunately for the villagers, the Ebola virus lived on, having already infected other people close to Mabalo. 21 of his friends and relatives got critically ill, and 18 of them died. Sadly, 11 of the 17 of Yambu hospital staff also died, forcing the hospital to be closed. Outside assistance was sought, and experts managed to identify and produce the first ever description of the Ebola virus and the disease it caused. In all, 280 deaths had been recorded in the outbreak. Number 5. Dr. Liu Jian Lin Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, starts like a typical flu, but would rapidly develop into a critical case of pneumonia and eventually death from respiratory failure. We might not hear of any more cases of SARS today, but the viral disease was seen as a serious threat to the global population in 2003, with a total of 774 reported deaths in 37 countries. The disease was first identified in Guangdong in southern China, and the local government did all they could to contain and eliminate the disease before it spread. A medical doctor identified as Dr. Liu Jian Lin from mainland China unknowingly caught the infection and traveled to Hong Kong in 2003. There, he resided in the Metropole Hotel in Kowloon and infected 16 other hotel guests. Those people then traveled outside the country, heading to Canada, Singapore, Taiwan, and Vietnam, causing further spread of SARS to those locations, turning it into a global pandemic. Dr. Liu was reported to have succumbed to the disease dying from respiratory failure. Although originating from mainland China, Hong Kong ended up with the majority of the SARS victims. Thankfully, the global threat was finally contained, and no SARS cases have been reported since 2004. Number 4. Edgar Enrique Hernandez in the remote village of La Gloria in Mexico stands a bronze statue of a smiling five-year-old boy. The subject is a real-life boy named Edgar Enrique Hernandez, also known as Nino Cero, or Kid Zero, survivor, and first person recognized to have contracted the infamous new strain of H1N1 virus known as swine flu. The disease spread wide in 2009, causing a worldwide influenza pandemic that killed over 14,000 people. It all started in early 2009 when many villagers in La Gloria fell ill in a short period of a few weeks, including two babies who died. Little Edgar was among the first to get sick, and later investigations confirmed the sickness plaguing the village to be the work of a new strain of H1N1 virus, with Edgar as a possible patient zero. Luckily, the five-year-old survived his ordeal, having recovered fully with no lasting complications. Number 3. Emil Wamano in December 2013, a two-year-old Guinean village boy named Emil Uamano suddenly got seriously ill and died four days later. His other family members followed suit, starting by his older sister, then their pregnant mother, then grandmother, and then a number of villagers. Researchers now believe that that village, deep in the forests of Guinea, was the source of the Ebola virus epidemic that ravaged West Africa for the next two years, and little Emil was patient zero. He is theorized to have contracted the disease while playing near a tree that housed Ebola-infected free-tailed bats. Starting from Guinea, the Ebola virus spread across borders like wildfire, hitting neighboring Liberia, Sierra Leone, Senegal, Mali, and Nigeria. When the epidemic ended in early 2016, over 11,000 lives were lost and left about 17,000 survivors, many of whom still suffering side effects in the form of muscle and joint pain, blindness, and various neurological problems. The outbreak is considered the most widespread Ebola virus epidemic epidemic in history. Number 2. Private Albert Gitchell 
Nearly everyone knows of how terrible World War I was, a feudal war that killed 17 million people and caused millions more to suffer. But not many know of the Spanish flu pandemic which started in the final year of the war. The deadly influenza outbreak lasted for three years and resulted in the deaths of more people than the war. Between 50 to 100 million infected people died, which was around 3 to 5 percent of the entire world's population. It all began when Private Albert Gitchell, a company cook at a U.S. Army base in Kansas, reported to the sick bay. He had developed a terrible cough, and before the medics had quarantined him, other soldiers in the camp had already been infected. By noon, over a hundred soldiers who ate the food Gitchell prepared the night before had fallen ill. In less than a week, the virus had spread to New York. Over the next few months, the disease had crossed the Atlantic, inflicting both sides of the war at the European theater. Due to Spain not being involved in the war, they imposed a wartime censorship, leading to greater press coverage of the disease. Hence, the disease became widely known as Spanish flu. Number 1. The Black Death Sailor one day, in 1346, a very sick sailor staggered off the Genoese galley he had been sailing in onto a harbor in Sicily. The man, who had contracted a strange illness while in Ottoman territory, had developed swelling in his armpits and groin, and his neck was stiff. His chest ached badly, and his breath gave out a terrible stench. His skin then slowly turned black, painful buboes appeared on his body, and he eventually died after days of suffering. The unnamed sailor is the man who brought the plague, a aka Black Death, to mainland Europe in the mid-14th century. He first infected his fellow soldiers, and from Sicily, the disease spread throughout Italy and eventually engulfed the entire European population, reaching as far as England and northern Scandinavian countries within a few years. Today, the Black Death is recognized as the most devastating pandemic in human history, having killed around 30 to 60 percent of Europe's total population. 